Hi everyone, I'm here at the University of Akron's Department of Geoscience with Dr. Sasowski. Uh, could you uh, just tell me a little bit about your position here at the university and uh, what type of programs the university has? I'm a professor of geosciences, been here for over 20 years. Um, we have bachelor's programs in geology and environmental science, and we have a master's program also in geology and environmental science. Just around the Akron-based area, uh, what are some good places to go visit as like a family or as a group of friends to see a good variety of rock formations and sediments? Yeah, so there's, um, I mean, we're really lucky in the, in the Akron area because the landscape is so interesting, and that's, Part of that is because of the, how recently the glaciers retreated, so there's a lot of gorges and ledges areas and things like that. One of the favorite areas I like to go to is the ledges and octagon hiking area on the eastern side of the um, Cuyahoga Valley National Park. And now you mentioned uh, glaciers, and one of the questions you actually recommended me for me to ask is uh, how the name Akron ties into the region's geology. Can you go into a little bit more depth about that? Yeah, so it's an interesting story about why we live here in Akron. If you think about it, Akron is from the Greek root meaning high place, like the Acropolis. And we live in Summit County, which suggests we would be on top of some big mountain, but it doesn't seem very mountainous. Um, but we're actually at a very interesting place. We are on the northern continental drainage divide between the Great Lakes drainage, which goes out to the St. Lawrence River, and the Mississippi River drainage, which goes out to New Orleans. So we're at a spot um, where when they were building the canals, they had to build a lot of different locks mm -hmm. to get over. And one of the founders of Akron had the great idea, why don't we build a town here because we can sell people things because they're going to be bored while they're going through all these locks. All right, um, now in the Gorge Metro Park, there's the Mary Campbell Cave made up of mostly uh, sandstone. Can you explain a little bit about how these sandstone caves form and the importance that these sandstone plays in the role of the formation? Yeah, absolutely. That's a, an interesting feature of northeastern Ohio because most caves are not made out of sandstone. Most are made out of limestone. Mm -hmm. It's like Mammoth Cave, Kentucky, the longest cave in the world mm -hmm. is, is in limestone. But here in this part of Ohio, we don't have a lot of limestone, but we have sandstone and we have this whole series of small caves which are culturally and historically important and also very important for bats. Mary Campbell Cave is a tremendous example of a very large sheltered cave. The formation of it is actually a little bit uncertain. Um, if you've ever had a chance to go out there, what you see is that it's a big arch and there's water seeping out from underneath. But what's intriguing is if you turn and look away from the cave, there's actually a big subsidiary valley that's joining up with the main part of the Cuyahoga River there, but it doesn't have any water in it. And so it suggests that sometime in the past, there was some maybe tremendous water flow that was coming over this area, but it's not there anymore and the cave is all that's left. So I, I did a bit of research before trying to come up with these questions. And uh, one thing that I, I found but was a little bit confusing to me was that Akron has a lot of Mississippian aged bedrock. Mm -hmm. um, can you explain a little bit about what that is and the things that go along with that? Sure, so um, the, the bedrock around Akron is rocks that are primarily shale, sandstone, and conglomerate. Mm -hmm. and these are all sedimentary rocks that are made up of broken bits of older rocks. So they're sort of recycled earth material. And back in the uh, Mississippian, which was around 350 million years ago, there was a major mountain range to the east of us, where, where the Appalachians are. And at that time, there were river systems which were eroding those mountains and dumping sediment in the Akron area and letting it build up, kind of like a delta, maybe right. like the Mississippi Delta would, mm -hmm. would be now. Over time, those sediments built up and they compacted and were turned into rock, mm -hmm. Mississippian age rock. And then as sea level dropped and the land rose, they became emerged from the water that they were deposited in. And so those Mississippian age rocks uh, form the bedrock of the Akron area. Mm -hmm. Now on top of that is more recent stuff which came from the glaciers, right. way, way later. So um, the glaciers retreated from here only about 12,000 years ago, which for humans is a long time. Mm -hmm. But geologically, when you're speaking millions of years, you know, it's just yeah. like a, a, an eye blink. Yeah. So the loose material that's on top, glacial drift or till that we call it, 
gravels and sands that are still loose sits on top of that bedrock.